Despite Tesla's underperforming stock, the EV company's fundamentals appear to remain solid, and the stock price is starting to see some increase after weeks of dropping without a specific cause. To this effect, can Tesla investors still hold on to their shares for the long term? Hey everyone, and welcome back to Everything Tesla Stock. Tesla's vehicle sales volumes continue to soar, increasing at a forecast 50% annual rate even as the operating expenses remain firmly rooted to the floor. And Elon Musk believes that Tesla can achieve a similar growth rate to roughly 2 million cars sold. According to a report released by the China Passenger Car Association, Tesla delivered 83,135 China-made EVs in September, smashing its monthly record. This is an 8% increase from August, and a record for this year at its Shanghai factory since production began back in December of 2019. Aside from this, Tesla is also making major improvements with batteries and its FSD technology. Will Tesla continue scaling revenue in the future? Keep watching to find out, but before we get into it, if you like this type of content, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to keep up to date on everything going on with Tesla. China continues to lead the domestic EV market with 200,973 wholesale sales in September, which is nearly a 15% jump from August, and Tesla produces a large number of these cars. The automaker's plan in Shanghai manufactures Model 3s and Model Ys to sell in both China and to export to other markets, including Europe and Australia. According to Tesla, the record high sales of China-made Tesla cars show the electric vehicles have been leading the mobility trend. The car company also increased production at its Vermont factory as well. Tesla opened its first manufacturing location in Vermont, repurposing the new United Motor Manufacturing plant that had been opened in 1984 and was now jointly owned by Toyota and General Motors. The factory had only just hit its peak of annual production in 2006, with 428,633 vehicles built. However, in January of this year, Tesla's Vermont plant was officially recognized as one of the most productive car factories in the US. The car company plans to increase production at this factory, and with the EV tax credit on the way, Tesla may actually be selling more EVs than before. In August, the US government signed a bill that included climate-related incentives like an up to $7,500 tax credit for consumers who purchase an electric vehicle. To be eligible for the credit, the car's battery must meet a minimum threshold of parts sourced from the US or countries which have a free trade agreement. Musk said during the company's third quarter earnings that Tesla expects to be fully able to meet the Inflation Reduction Act requirements that would allow consumers to receive tax credits on new EV purchases. With tax credits on cars, more buyers are going to be likely to opt for Tesla's EVs, which will also be another big advantage since Tesla cars are already popular across markets globally. Although there are fears as to whether this will likely reduce demand, this is quite a low possibility. If Tesla ramps up production, then it will subsequently affect car delivery. Tesla increased its China deliveries to around 22,000 units, compared with levels of around 17,000 in June after spending most of the production at its Shanghai plant in July for an upgrade. Although Tesla is doing incredibly well, the major concern for Tesla investors at the moment would be the recent sale of Tesla shares by Elon Musk. However, the Tesla CEO has given hints as to why he recently sold some of the company's shares. Musk said this during a recent meeting with Twitter employees. According to him, the major reason why he sold the shares was not just to save Twitter, to keep the platform alive. Musk reassured us that he does not lack faith in Tesla, and also the automaker's stock is going to be worth an immense amount in the future. Musk sees Tesla becoming the most valuable company in the future, far exceeding Apple's current market cap in the future. And while speaking at the recent Tesla shareholders call, Musk stated that he sees a potential path for Tesla to be worth more than Apple and Saudi Aramco combined. Although Musk added that he does not mean that this will happen anytime soon, or that it will even be easy, he does see a way for Tesla to be worth roughly twice the value of Saudi Aramco. The automaker is building factories around the world, with plans to build even more, and it seems the goal is to produce as much as 20 million EVs by 2030. According to Musk, Tesla could ultimately end up building more factories, probably at least 10 or 12 gigafactories to reach this goal. The secret behind Elon Musk's goal of selling 20 million Tesla EVs a year by 2030 lies in its pioneering battery technology. The only hindrance to this could, however, be the high issue of 
high cost of raw materials owing to inflation and a looming recession. Although GDP grew 6% in 2021, it's expected to decelerate to 3.2% this year and 2.7% in 2023. According to the International Monetary Fund, this value would mark the weakest pace of growth since 2001, outside of the financial crisis back in 2008 and a brief plunge in the early days of the COVID pandemic. The FED also projects GDP in the US to grow just 0.2% this year and 1.2% in 2023. While many companies and their CEOs are in a serious fear of recession, Tesla and its owners have quite a history of managing these situations effectively. According to Musk, Tesla has had some experience with recession and has stood the test. Musk cited that in 2009, General Motors and Chrysler both went bankrupt, but Tesla did not, despite being a startup electric vehicle company. He added that although it was excruciatingly difficult to keep Tesla alive in 2009, the EV company was able to scale through. Musk also cited that he has had similar experience with recessions. He said, I've been through the recession of 2000 and 2001 and 2008 to 2009, and I'm somewhat paranoid about dying to recessions. I have recession PTSD from keeping X and PayPal alive through the 2000 recession and keeping Tesla alive through the 2009 recession. Tesla is not just the only thing on his plate. Several other top personalities globally have also admitted to the harsh effects of a recession. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos recently said via a tweet that it's time to batten down the hatches in preparation for a rough economic water ahead. This tweet followed a video of Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon, who said in a CNBC interview that he thinks there's a good chance of a recession in the US. However, while the future is uncertain, Tesla has proven through the years that it is capable of scaling through tough times. The car company is capable of pulling revenue from its multiple income sources, and to cap it off, only Tesla's got FSD with no one else coming anywhere close. The car company is making huge progress with this software, and the program enables Tesla drivers to drive autonomously to a destination entered into the car's navigational systems, although the driver will need to remain vigilant and ready to take control. Earlier this year, Tesla decided to expand its FSD beta program for the first time in a while. After adding 60,000 new additional owners, Tesla's FSD beta will have over 160,000 users in the program. Aside from this, Tesla's also making its 4680 battery cells, and Musk says they may be closer than expected. Irrespective of the current low price of Tesla stock, there are still bulls waiting on the sidelines with spare cash that can be deployed. Tesla's shares at a 52-week low is a relative bargain, assuming that the Twitter deal doesn't prove to be too distracting. The only fear, however, may be that it is difficult to say if Musk still has any further plans to sell more Tesla shares. In a recent meeting with Twitter employees, Musk stated it is difficult to say what the company's cash runaway is since it's uncertain as to what the revenue shortfall will be next year. Although Musk stated it's impossible to predict the actual severity of a recession or the length of it, he says that the company could see a net negative cash flow for several billion dollars in the future. Overall, while the fear remains, Tesla could actually potentially perform beyond expectations, irrespective of what Musk is doing with Twitter. Do you agree? Let us know down below and don't forget to tell us what your valuation of Tesla is. If you'd like to know more about what Tesla's been up to in the last few days, go ahead and click on this next video on your screen. See you there.